Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect GitHub and build a CI CD pipeline with Vassar. Gone are the days when it was very difficult to deploy your code for your real time uh, changes. The continuous integration and continuous deployment process has now put a stop to this previous archaic way of uh, deployment. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can quickly connect your GitHub and build a CI CD uh, on this platform called Vasa. We now have several platforms that you can use on the bounce that you can, uh, where you can achieve this task easily. And Vasa is one of those platforms where you can deploy several applications faster. You do not need to be a DevOps uh, expert before you can set up this uh, platform. Uh, and what you just need to do is um, zero configuration. You do not need to set up anything at all. If, if you are even going to set up anything, it's um, just a little bit of uh, configuration. It's almost zero configuration. On that platform because you'll be guided on what you need to do. So Vase can uh, be integrated with GitHub, you can integrate it with GitLab, you can integrate it with Bitbucket uh, repository for instant uh, continuous deployment. And also on this same platform you can run automated tests for performance and reliability on every push pull and merge request can also be deployed instantly to a unique URL that you can make accessible to everyone. So just follow this video as I will be showing you how you can quickly set this up in AGV. So the next thing I, I'm going to do now is to um, move my code from my local to GitHub. So this is uh, my code base. I'm currently using um, NestJS. Um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Let me launch. Let me launch this on uh, on my local, so that you see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to I want to move this to my GitHub repository. So from there, we are now going to connect it to um, Vasa. So this is um, the current uh, location to assess the uh, project. So let me just let me put it here. So let me use. Uh, so this is uh, this is the template. So um, I'm going to move this template now. This NestJS template. I'm going to move it to GitHub. Um, is is already on GitHub. But in case you want to move your own um, GitHub, you can make use of uh, this command. Um, you can use this, this command all this so you enter your the origin the URL you enter it here then you push your code from your local system you push it to uh, GitHub so this URL is your GitHub uh, URL and you are good to go so I currently have it um, uh, this location on my GitHub so I already have it here. So uh, the next thing now is to connect it to my Vassar. So before you can do that, you need to sign up on Vassar. So this is uh, the Vassar platform, Vassar.com. 
So this is you come here and do and sign up. So you should sign up here. You can working up on a personal project. You can pick that, or if it is just if it's a pro, you can also select this. So, but I'm making use of hobby. So let me give it a tech. Take. Uh, let me do um, tech direct. Yet. So let me click on continue. So you can see here it's saying let's connect your JIT provider. So it depends on um, the repository you are making use of. Is it JIT up? Is it JIT lab? Is it JIT bucket? Um, what I'm going to show you is with JIT up. So I'm going to continue with JIT up. So it's going to authenticate with my JIT up account. So I'm going to enter my GitHub account, the email, and the password. So it's trying to authenticate now. It's connecting my GitHub to my Vasa, so it's going to do that for some seconds, just be patient. Once this is done, then we will continue. I don't know why it's taking time to connect with my GitHub, but um, in a little bit time, it's going to finish up. So we're going to come back. My code to my repository again. I changed the name of the repository. Um, I changed it to take direct project so i have pushed my code into uh, the repository now and uh, now i've also connected my vasa the vasa to my repository my github repository i've connected it and if you check now you will see take direct project showing so all what we need or i need to do is to Click on this import. Once I click on this import, you do not need to do anything. Uh, just all the settings is already there. So leave it as default. You don't need to change anything. Leave it as default. So the next thing you will do is just to click on this button deploy. So you currently deploy your to this platform. This is where you are now going to run it. It's going to generate you uh, and use to view your application. So you can see it's currently building. So it's going to take some seconds to minutes and you are good to go so just be patient as the deployment finish so two time now the deployment to be done.
is now completing deployment. So can you see, we have the message, congratulations, you just deployed a new project to VASA. So you can see, this is the view. Yet, then uh, another thing is that um, you can add a domain. If you want to configure a domain, uh, but this is not part of the video today. So let me this is um, let me open application now so you can you see so this is the url take direct project dot it was generated so this is where i can always um, assess my application so all what i just need is um, to push my code i push my code to GitHub. Uh, many times there's a uh, change in the code. I push it and automatically Vasa will pick it up and you will see your changes instantly. You do not need to uh, do any configuration. But if you want to configure your domain, if you want to add a domain, you can do that. If you do not want to use a uh, Vasa domain stance you do not want this Vasa dot have on the domain what you need to do is to come here and add a domain you can supply all necessary details and you are good to go so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching